Premise of value and valuing your company. Premise, what is it? Let's define it. I'm gonna read it to you so I don't mess this up. A previous statement or proposition from which another is inferred or follows as a conclusion. Quote, if the premise is true, then the conclusion must be true. All right, that's how it's defined on the internet. I don't know if any of you took philosophy in college. I took a little bit, I remember just a little bit. What we're talking about here is the premise that we're establishing about the company in the valuation of that company. And there are two primary ones that I see most often, and that's going concern premise or liquidation premise. So it's either going to continue to operate and produce cash flows, or it's going to be, in essence, in some cases, sort of fire sold, in essence, liquidated without continuing to be operated as, a, as an ongoing business. So another thing to keep in mind with this is, can the interest that you're valuing liquidate the company if that's what you think the premise is? So let's assume that's what you think the premise is, but let's say they're, they are a minority and non-controlling interest, maybe they can't liquidate the company anyway. So in which case, that would probably be a violation of the premise of value because they couldn't liquidate it anyway. Uh, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Another concept that I find to be very closely related to this is highest and best use. And highest and best use means what would be the best use of this business. In some cases, liquidating it may make more sense than continuing to operate it, particularly if it's not earning cash flows. This is Josh Horn, CPA of Horn Valuation. That's all I got today. Have a great day. Bye.